I'm going to demonstrate how to add a page of photos onto a Drupal uh, website. So here I am at the uh, StarTalk Chinese Camp page, and I want to add a page of photos that they took this summer from their camp. So I have 12 photos, and I want to just add a new page here that contains little thumbnails of the photos that they can then click that will um, open up into a slideshow. So. I go down to my yellow content box here and I click Media Gallery because I want to create a, a brand new page. For a title, uh, Star Talk Photo Gallery, it comes up because I've already done a test run here. Um, and then description, you, you may or may not want to add one. Um, you know, it depends on if you think the photos are self-explanatory or not. Um, I'm just going to add a brief one that I wrote in Word and I'm going to paste it here and because it's from Word and I don't want it to carry over all kinds of strange Word formatting, I click the paste as plain text box, then I control V and add it in and there's just a little description. All right, now I have some choices for how I want to set up this gallery, media gallery page. Um, I can choose how many columns and how many rows. Um, I'm going to choose, I have 12 pictures, so I'm going to choose four columns and three rows. Now you could choose up to 10 columns for what you're doing, but you probably don't want to go higher than four or five, and that's because if someone's looking at your page on a mobile device, they're going to see really teeny little boxes here, and you don't want them to be so small that they can't even figure out what they're looking at. So um, four and three. Now we have a choice of um, what you want to show up uh, on the thumbnail um, when someone's looking at it. So you can have the title show up when someone hovers over it, you can have the title show up on the photo below, or you can show nothing. So I'll just show you what those three options look like in practice. So I'm going to go to another tab. Here um, is a media gallery where the title is showing up at the bottom. Here is a title that shows up when you hover. It actually doesn't look all that great but when you hover over it, it comes up at the bottom. And here's one where there is nothing that shows up, no matter whether you hover or not. Okay, so I don't want to have anything show up myself, so I'm going to put nothing. Now here are some more choices, and these are choices that have to do with um, what someone sees when they click on a thumbnail image and it opens up to the full image. So one of your choices you, is you can allow users to download the original image. I would say most of the time you probably don't want to do that, um, but um, if, you know, if you do for some reason, like here is the, the Celebrity Series does have a good reason to do that. Um, they have this page for their media contacts and they want the media to be able to come here, click on a thumbnail, get a full image, and download it easily. So they have, so when I, when you click off that box on the other page, this is what automatically shows up is a little tag for download original image. Um, here is uh, a choice about whether you want the picture to open up on a full page or whether you want it to open up in a light box mode. So here's an example of it opening up in a light box. So this is the light box, so this white box, and the rest of the page goes to a dark gray. Um, and then if you click this little button, this arrow button, then um, a slideshow automatically starts and continues on its own. It will just keep cycling through the photos. Here's an example um, of where the image just opens up on a full regular web page. Um, again, this is the celebrity series for their media contacts and they don't want, you know, it's not necessarily there to look pretty, it's just there for them to be able to get the photo easily. Uh, and your last choice here is whether you want the picture to show up when it opens up with a title and a description. Again, so here is an example where it has a title and a description that shows up when you open up the picture, when you click on the thumbnail. And here's an example where it has no title or description. All right, so I want my media in a light box. I don't want to have it downloaded. I don't want a title and description. And then, um, again, you have to choose number of columns and rows, and frankly, I don't know why that is, because we already chose it up here, but there must be some reason for it, so I am going to choose four and three again. And now, for the most part, you could just save at this point, um, but because I, oh, excuse me, because I want my media page to show up in that um, top right-hand book uh, menu for Star Talk Camp over on the right. Um, I have to do one more step, and that is to click the book outline option here, 
and then to go and choose that book. And so I go down to Star Talk Camp, choose that, and I have to wait for it to register here. And it selected it, and the parent item is Star Talk Camp, so this page is going to come under Star Talk Camp. It's just what I want. And now I click Save. Okay, so now it's created the basic page for the gallery, but I don't have any of my pictures in there yet. So that's what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to click the Add Media button. This brings me to an interface that will allow me to upload multiple photos at one time. So to do that, I click the Add Files button. Now I've already sized these 12 photos. Um, they're all 750 pixels wide. Um, you, you would want to size your photos before you bring them in. Um, now the system will size them down for you for the most part. Uh, I think it will. Um, but uh, if you have really huge file sizes, then it's going to just slow everything way down. So it would be better to just size them to a reasonable size before you bring them in. Okay, so I'm choosing them all. I'm clicking Open to add them all in here, which it's done. And now I click Start Upload. And it's uploaded 12 of my 12 files. So now I'm good to go. And now I click the Next button. And this is now going to populate them into my gallery page, the images into my gallery page. And there they all are. So I click on one. And I see that it's putting it into the light box like I wanted it to. I could, um, you know, this click this and it would start going through the photos. So everything looks good. Um, now, there's a couple things you have to do at this point. Uh, well, one of them you have to do for legal reasons, and that is to add in an alt text to all of these images. So what I mean by that is um, if you click on an image here and you click Edit File Info, there's a little alt text box here where, where we really need to um, write in a description of this image um, because for people who use screen readers um, and other technologies, assistive technologies, we want them to be able to know what this picture is. Um, so I'm going to... Children learning nunchaku. Um, so I've added that alt text and I'm going to click Save. Now this could be a real pain if you have got a, a lot, a lot of photos. I mean, I've got 12, so it's not too, too bad. I can go into each one and do that. But here is a button that sometimes um, recently has been kind of um, buggy. So hopefully when you go to use it, it will be OK. But it's the Edit Media button. And this allows you to, to uh, edit them all in one page. So here's Children Learning Nun Nunchaku. I'm going to, I just copied that and then I scroll down and there's the next picture. So I can just add that same image right, add that same uh, alt text right into that image um, and continue down through all of them. Now, if you want it, you know, if you decide after the fact you also want to add in um, t titles and descriptions to each photo, you can do that here as well. So this is where it's been buggy. When I click save, it's been doing weird things. So let's see what happens. Okay, so it is kind of weird because it's it's saying they're updated, but it's not allowing me to get back to my page in a reasonable way. So I'm just going to have to um, navigate back to it. Uh, but one good thing about having to do that is that now we can see that it did, in fact, put my photo gallery exactly where I asked it to put it in this little right-hand menu. Okay, so that was this Edit Media button is a little bit buggy. Um, I think it might work. It's just that it's it, you have to get back to this page in a kind of a convoluted way. But also you can, you know, as I said, you can do each individual one, um, edit each individual one in the uh, top right corner here. One other thing I want to point out is that Sometimes when you are editing pictures here, the cache in the system will make it seem like, even after you save the edit and everything, will make it seem like um, it hasn't s saved it, but it actually has. Um, so if you logged out, right, if I added a title, like a hover title over here, uh, saved it, and then came back here, it wouldn't show up. But if I logged out and looked at it, it would actually be there. And that just has to do with the caching here. Um, so just d just be aware of that that it's not that you're doing anything wrong. It's um, that you just um, are uh, just the caching is not letting you see the change right away. 
Um, so you can always go go out and look at it, log out and look at it. Or another shortcut I found is if I go into this Edit Gallery tab, open up the tab, and then just scroll down to the bottom and click Save. I don't ch make any changes. It clears out the cache, and then I can see the changes I've made. That's all.